Hi, so we're in 3ds Max now and we're looking at a very intriguing box. Uh, this box is the representation of my basic human height. Uh, it's two and a half meters tall or actually you know, one and three quarters like two, two meters tall, 200 centimeters. Um, and it's set up just like this in a way that allows me to see through it and just kind of have it out of the way. Uh, if I right click on this, let's see, go ahead right now, let's unfreeze it real quick. Um, if I right click on it, go to properties, we will see that I have it set up to display as a box. I have turned off, show frozen in gray. And what that does is that means that I can actually freeze this object, freeze selection, and it will stay unselectable. But it gives me an idea of how tall a basic person would be in the space I'm about to build. Um, we've gone over it before in class, but just to kind of make sure we understand what we're doing, if I go to customize, then preferences, uh, excuse me, not preferences, customize, and then unit setup, we want to see that we're in generic units, and then in the system unit button, we're in centimeters. And the reason why we're in centimeters is because while we'll be working in tall walls, we're also going to be working on handheld small items such as the Gladius. So we're going to keep it pretty small. From there, uh, I basically created a basic shape of what the arena shape would be like. Like the concept art right, was just basically set up like this. Um, this is a little wider than it should be, I think, but it's pretty close to the actual size based on the reference, based on my height reference and the concept art put together. Um, <clears throat> what um, And so what this allows me to do is actually create a basic idea of what um, my wall size will be. So I just did a quick inset on these faces to kind of get an idea and use that to kind of build out a basic structure. And from there, I was able to quickly create some basic a basic wall. Now this wall is just a simple texture set. Um, I built it in Photoshop, which I'll go over again, talking about more concept bases. But from there, I was able to actually make a wall with a window, a wall with a doorway, which is arched and a regular uh, and a square doorway. So I've got basically a doorway for exterior, a doorway for interior, and then a window, which can be used for either one. And then I got a, the most generic wall there is, which is what I'm going to be using for my Unity layout on the initial setup. And from there, I was able to actually get my basic walls set up. Um, and so I'm usually working in Unity in 3ds Max, excuse me, to kind of get an idea of what my basic layout will be. And with this setup, I can actually go through all these are instants. I can actually go through and take each piece apart. And what that allows me to do actually is get into the actual cleanup and setup of my object. So being an instance, I can throw pieces in here. Uh, and affect all of them at once. And this is just, again, just for me basic layouts and just getting me uh, where I need to go. Um, after this, what I'm going to do is send all my wall pieces into Unity and get that scene set up. And then I'm also going to go through and build an actual wall. Like I said in class, I'm going to use this as a basic setup. I'm going to build a floor plan. If I delete all those, let's go ahead and do something real quick. I'm going to make this a little bit easier for, and safer for me. I'm going to throw an edit poly on here, and the whole point I'm going to do is just delete a whole bunch of things I'm not needing yet. But right here, excuse me, right here is our basic floor plan that I'm going to have set up. And so what I'll do is I'll set it to where I can actually do a split between like a mirroring on each side. So I can build one whole set of walls and then mirror that set and just slap it right there, maybe even in quarters. But we can see where I have a flat here and goes to a corner there. So I'm going to have some interesting things to think about when I get into getting my full initial layout set up. But right now we're just doing some cool things to get set up and it's just going to be an easy peasy knock them out kind of situation from this point on. Uh, the next video we'll be looking at some other concept work and then I'll get into actually exporting and doing some things inside of 3ds Max showing some modeling techniques. But I just want to get an overview of what we're after. Let's go ahead and trash can that edit poly so I don't scare myself when I open this again. Um, and when we do that, we'll, um, we'll start moving into Unity here pretty quickly. All right. Cheers.